Come on, man, I'm back in the building. What are you telling me? Littest guy on the platform, littest guy in London. No one's doing it like me, this is why you must stay tuned. But yeah, man, this video is going to resonate with a lot of people out there that I know have a lot of friends that love to do a lot for them. And this could be friends, family members, anything. But man, a lot of people are in the habit of defending people that more time wouldn't even defend themselves or even stand up for themselves. I'm telling you, like, don't go out your way and go help people that wouldn't even help themselves or help you out in her rough times. You know what I mean? Say, like, your friend calls up your phone or this family member that you never speak to calls up your phone like and they're in some sort of problem beef they want money they want um they want to help you out in some sort of situation like that they're going through on the streets or something just really think to yourself would they do the same thing for you like because i know a lot of you guys are in gangs a lot of you young guys yeah you know i mean you'd be thinking all these guys are your friends and shit whole time they're guys that they secretly hate you but yeah man it's like You'll go and help. You'll, you'll go out your way and go help out all these people out here. Oh, shit. Get you. You'll go out your way and go help out your gang. You know what I mean? And they would even do the same for you. So it's like, why even put yourself in that situation to even get yourself hurt, land up in prison? These people ain't going to put money in your books. They're, they're, they're probably going to visit you for like one, two weeks, maybe a month, and then just forget about your ass, bro. This is why I say to avoid them situations where you can land up in a bad situation over someone else's problems, you know what I mean? Because that's what I realised throughout life. I've always thought to myself, like, if I call this guy up in this problem, it's like, I can get him hurt. I can get him in some sort of issues. Because you could go your way and go back your, your brethren, go fight off, you know what I mean, these guys with him. And then imagine if these guys roll up on you because you helped him out. Literally, that's what will happen, bro. Just because you helped him out, now they're going to be all over your arse. So... You're walking about the street thinking you're all nice and calm. Yeah, yeah, my brethren's got me. You see the same guys that your brethren told you about, like, to that you need help with. And then they set on you, bro. They're like, you know, fuck you, bro. Like, you, you try set on us, I'm going to set on you now. And now you just got yourself involved in problems that didn't even concern you in the first place. I'm telling you. Man, you really got to watch who you, do, like, stick up for out here. The only person you should be sticking up for is, like, your mum. And that's really it. Like, that's the only person I really stick up for is my mum. And people that are in my corner, you know what I mean? You all know the people that are in your corner. Just really look back. Just look back at all the things that people have done to you and said about you. And you all know who not to put your eggs in your basket into, you know what I mean? Literally, you all just know to just manoeuvre. This, this is why I love to manoeuvre on my own out here and just become so confident in your ones. Because it's like... If you do get in a situation, a sticky one, it's like you'll know how to overcome it so much more e easier. You know what I mean? Everything just becomes easier out here. You don't have to stress and, you know what I mean, and call up other people to get them in your issues because that just takes so much energy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's good in the moment, but there's always an aftermath, I'm telling you. But yeah, bro, it's just... Always think about that. Would these people do the same thing for you? Would they be there for your... your, your like, if you call them, if you... If, if you're honest, yeah, you know I mean, if, if you called their phone and you got a problem right now, would they turn up there? No, they wouldn't. This is why I say don't be dropping whatever you're doing and go help them out and stuff like this because, man, these people won't be turning up to your prison, yeah, you know I mean, your prison to come look at you and help you out in rough times they won't be giving you money when you want it like say you borrow someone 500 pound just say you ask them for 500 pound they want to give you 500 pound so why the hell are you going to give them 500 pound telling you oh this i'm telling you be wise of who i'm telling you the older you get yourself to wisen up like yeah maybe when you're younger you might do this shit where you help out all your brethren and stuff but you'll start to realize that people won't reciprocate that same energy that's what i realized over the years it's like yeah you will reciprocate energy to prove that you're loyal but they they won't reciprocate that same energy to show that they're loyal they will just you know what i mean this not do nothing i'm telling you this is why i say make sure you have yourself out here because man no one else is going to have your back more than you this is why i say beef is a long bow you know what i mean don't even get yourself involved in beef and stupid shit on the road because it always it just goes, it gets into something bigger, bro. You know what I mean? 
this is why I say you've got to remove yourself from environments and people that get themselves involved in this sort of things because man they're going down a they're going down a steep path they're going down a dangerous path in life bro trust me you gotta worry about when you're walking on the roads because you hurt these guys you hurt this guy you hurt that other guy I'm telling you man people don't have your back man I don't know, bro. Just ask yourself, would they do the same thing for me? It's not even would they do the same thing. It's like, because, yeah, you could go back your bread, you know, and then the next week you try to call him, try meet up with him, and he'll be like, oh, like, you won't even answer your phone calls. You, you, you try to link up with him again the next couple of weeks. He'll just be like, yo, I'm busy, I'm busy, you know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? But more time, he's probably hanging out with more friends, going out. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, people are just fake out here, bro. You all start to realise a lot of people are fake and once you realize a lot of people are fake you you will just get kind of wary of who you even put your trust into out here yeah you know i mean trust and just your energy and the things that you tell because that's what i realized i started to i started to get in the habit of be be being careful of who i even tell things to out here because not everyone needs to know your business and information yeah you know i mean that don't really concern you like you're basically just giving people ammunition just to go against you like you say like you're in a gang or something you're in a big friend group and you tell someone oh yeah i'm going through this oh yeah i need help with this and that they know all this stuff when they know all these things about you and it's like they have no sort of help and benefit to you so it's like what was the point in telling them that stuff in the first place it's like yeah i mean i'm telling you really got to use your mind out here use your mind Use your mind and just use your 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 awareness because man, it's it's like you all start to realize a lot of people just can't really do nothing for you. Like the only reason why these guys are in gangs and big groups is because they don't know themselves. Yeah, you know I mean they don't know themselves, and if they didn't have these people around them, their life would be nothing. I'm telling you, a lot of people's life would be nothing without other people. This is why they will hate you for being alone, hate you for being doing your own thing. And still making shit happen when you're alone because they can't do it. I'm telling you, man. And people, they'll, they'll be so ungrateful for what you do for them. Like, you'll fight five guys for them, whatever. Go back. You and go back to them in some big beef. And then they'll just forget about what they've done to you. Like, what you've do, you done for them. Or they won't even appreciate it as much as all the... They won't even appreciate it with all the energy that you put in. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Man, it's, it's a cruel world out here, I'm telling you. This is why I say, don't be putting all your brethrens and everyone before you. Be thinking about your well-being and how it's going to affect you and how this direction can lead you down a, a path where you can't get off, I'm telling you. Because imagine going prison over your, your friends. That's what a lot of guys, that's what a lot of guys go for prison out here. They go for prison because of their friends. Just look at all these GMs and all of these different gangs out here. And you all start to realise the only reason why they landed up in pen or all these bad situations is because of their brethren. I'm telling you, your brethren land you up in sticky situations. Literally, always know that and always understand. Because guys be thinking, oh yeah, the more friends, the better. I'm telling you, the more friends, the more drama and the more problems. Because people don't know how to... Pe yeah, you might be a kind of guy where you don't like to cause beef and stuff but your your friend might be the guy that likes to cause beef and rile up his mouth and yeah you know i mean start shit people are like that bro just because you're not like that just other people are like that and they'll get you involved imagine getting involved in someone else's beef that's his long bro like you got other this guy's ops after you now because you're with him or you're backing him or you're just talking shit with him I'm telling you man the older you get you'll start to realize I need to distance myself from these sorts of guys. I'm telling you, this is why I have to distance myself from a lot of these guys that are on the road. There's lot, you know what I mean? Shot on the road, love to just sit there and smoke and shit, and gossip and talk shit because, man, they only land, they will only land you up in problems, literally. And man, what I realized, living that kind of lifestyle is just long, like. This is long bowl, literally, you got all that negative energy on you. This is all 
look over your shoulder for some random guys after you telling you man if you want to avoid that life uh, because a lot of guys are stuck in that lifestyle of just you're looking over their shoulder and there's not even looking over like this it's got people after them and shit man you got to distance yourself from the people that's around you a lot of people don't know how to solve these problems but the only thing you have to do is just take yourself away from these people's presence and you will see that wow i turned into something yeah you know i mean I'm telling you you can really make yourself out of something when you take your access away from people because man people can only stagnate you out here um block your blessings and just block your success rate yeah you know i mean i realized that because once i took my access and dist and distance myself from people it's like life just got better for me I'm telling you life will get better for you too because why would you still want to keep going through that negative cycle? I know a lot of people are probably watching this right now. Like, wow, I go through a, a lot of shit because of my brethren. I'm telling you. Just think about what do your brethren really do for you? Do they give you money to... Do they put food on their table? Do they give you money? Do they help you on any sort of aspect? No. Then why are you doing all these... Giving all them all these benefits like and helping them out so much? I'm telling you. You'll start to realise that you're just investing into dead vessels, like dead people out here. Like, what's the point in investing into them? I'm telling you. <coughs> Man. Put yourself first, I'm telling you. That's that's one of my main problems I had out here, is not putting myself first and, yeah, you know I mean, liking to please other people. Man, I used to be such a people pleaser, put people before me because i wanted acceptance and telling you when you want acceptance out here it's like you'll do everything to just make other people happy but man you'll start to realize you can't really make everyone happy out here you can't change how people feel about you yeah you know i mean this is what i say just always not even always but just just have yourself man literally get yourself straight because other people won't get you straight man But yeah, don't be go out to go back your brethren's in some random beef. I'm telling you, this, like if someone calls my phone and some shit like, oh yeah, I need backing, need help. Fuck, that ain't going on my way because I can get myself hurt. I can, you ain't thinking about me. You're just thinking about me getting you out of that situation. This is what I say. Not all of these guys are your friends out here. Most of these guys just want to use you for your billies and what you can do. And just, yeah, you know I mean, I'm telling you, a lot of guys want to use you and you don't even know it. I'm telling you. <sighs> well, because if you got in some sort of argument with these guys or you fell out with them, they'll just forget about everything you've done for them and they'll just turn their back on you and just act like you're an enemy now. After you helped them defeat their enemies. Man, life's... It's like a... I'm telling you, once you awaken spiritually and you, want, and you realise a lot of people are just on a low vibration and you'll realise that, wow, I can't really be trusting all these people because... They, they they do malicious things when you're not around. Yeah, you know I mean, I realize that, and this is why I don't really associate too many people now. But I'm just happy just to drop all my wisdom on this camera and just tell other people how I feel and yeah, you know I mean, and how this matrix really is because a lot of people do really go through out there. Yeah, you know I mean, hard because they want to be accepted, but man. The only people that's going to care about you when you're in that cell is you. No one else, I'm telling you. Because there's other people on YouTube that'll tell you, that, that, uh, like other guys that went prison that'll tell you the same thing. Man, I shouldn't even... Why did I even do that for this brethren? Like, you don't even call my phone. You don't even put money in my books. Nothing. You're there rotting in jail thinking about that random guy that you just done something to because your friend hated him or your friend asked you to back him. I'm telling you. Man, only defends people that are important to you. As I said, like, I don't know who's important to you in your life, but I know who's important to me and who does for me. And this is why I say, do for people like that. Otherwise, don't do for, I'm telling you, don't just be doing for anyone out here because it will backfire, I'm telling you. And you'll realise that, wow, this guy didn't even fuck me the whole time. Fuck! I'm telling you, once you go through many betrayals and many people just crossing you and, 
you know what I mean, and taking advantage of you, you'll realise like, wow, people, they have their own sort of agendas and own sort of plans that they have for you that you don't even know about. This is why I say, be careful, man. I said, because all you guys in gangs and shit be thinking these guys are your friends the whole time. If you think about what they're, even putting you through, you'll be like, whoa, these guys are not my buddies. Like, you be walking around the road with them, doing some random shit to guys. Yeah, you know I mean, hurting them. Yeah, you know I mean, how? <laughs> this is weird, bro. Like, people in the Matrix are they're so back. They're weird, bro. It's like, they'll just hurt people randomly and shit. They're, I'm telling you, people are weird out here. It's got weird energy about them. Telling you, it's the Matrix, man. But yeah, bro. Your friends don't really care about you. Trust me. And you'll realise that during the harsh times and betrayals that you go through in your life, man. But yeah, bro. Love all the support on the channel. Stay tuned. More to come. And I'm out. Peace.